Today we're going to take you on a walking tour of Sagamore Hill National Historic Site, the former home and grounds of President Theodore Roosevelt, where you'll see cool historic buildings, salt marshes, and beaches. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. Theodore Roosevelt was the 26th president of the United States and youngest person ever to be elected. And most importantly, he is the reason we have teddy bears today. A powerful advocate for conservation, over his presidency, he established five national parks, 150 national forests, 51 bird reserves, four game preserves, and 18 national monuments on over 230 million acres of protected land. He also created the U.S. Forest Service and has six national park sites dedicated to him. Sagamore Hill, one of those sites, is 155 acres, located in Oyster Bay Cove on Long Island in New York, and was originally intended to be his summer home. During his presidency, Roosevelt relocated his office to Sagamore Hill during the summer months, since Washington, D.C. was so hot, hence its famous nickname, the Summer White House. While the parking lot is fairly sizable, in warmer months, on the weekends, it can get packed hence the designated bus parking. You will see information boards at the head of the parking lot near the entrance sign. If you forget where you're going, there's signage throughout the site. When you see these information signs, there's sometimes a smaller sign with a number to call and hear an audio history of the spot you are visiting. One of the first places you'll see is the farm shed which was used to store ox harnesses and other tools. Next to it is the chicken house, where the Roosevelt's raise their chickens for eggs. Further down is the windmill and pump house, which pumped fresh well water to storage tanks inside the home and was amazingly used until the 1990s, until Sagamore Hill had access to municipal water. Ahead is Sagamore Hill itself which Roosevelt named after the Algonquin word for chieftain, or head of the tribe. The home was built in the Queen Anne style of architecture. Inside, President Roosevelt would work inside his library, with many of his hunting trophies displayed throughout. To tour the home, you will have to reserve tickets online. Just keep in mind that there is no photography allowed inside the home. Above one of the doors outside, you can read the Roosevelt family motto dating back to when the family arrived in America in 1649. It reads, Qui plantavit curabit, which translates to, He who will plant will cultivate, or the one who planted it will take care of it. Beneath the American flag is the memorial tomb of Quentin Roosevelt, Theodore and Edith's youngest son. He was an army pilot killed in aerial combat in World War I on Bastille Day in France, and to this day is the only child of a U.S. president to have died during combat. Past the front of the house is the Pet Cemetery and Arbor, where Edith Roosevelt used to relax away from the children. At this point, you'll head towards the parking lot and onwards towards the old orchard home. Along the trail, you'll see an area designated for a future vegetable garden restoration project. And you will also see a barn to your right. This area is for the future orchards. To your right is the Old Orchard House, the home of Theodore Roosevelt Jr., which is the new visitor center and contains a small museum and gift shop. Beyond the Old Orchard House is a nature trail, which is a roughly three-quarter mile loop. This trail brings you to Eel Creek, 
a giant salt marsh with boardwalk access. This area is part of the Oyster Bay Wildlife Refuge, and you can spot ospreys, herons, kingfishers, and horseshoe crabs here. Past the salt marshes is the Roosevelt Family Beach, looking out onto Cold Spring Harbor. We've made a video of us kayaking in this area that we'll link above. With nothing but the sounds of birds and waves, you can begin to understand what made the conservationist president tick and why he enjoyed this place. When you're ready, head back across the boardwalk and keep heading around the loop. You will eventually pop out on the other side of the orchard and see the parking lot. Thank you all for watching. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you on our next adventure.